just smashed a workout do look like a sweaty mess honestly really wasn't feeling it this morning at all either but i felt like it's a monday i <laughs> ate so much good food over the weekend i had a, a roast yesterday and honestly this weekend i just indulged and it was so good but i actually felt a bit kind of like crappy for it not that there's anything wrong with it just because i just felt really sluggish i didn't really work out or anything the past like couple of days so i wanted to just you know get up find some motivation so i actually went down to like our local park and did a um a workout there just took some weights my earphones yoga mat just like some dumbbells just drove there i mean it's literally like two minutes away but i'm like not walking up the street holding dumbbells that's for sure but yeah it was actually a really good workout i'm so glad that i got it done so if you're like lacking a bit of motivation actually maybe try that because i personally actually weirdly prefer working out when it's outside i don't know i think you know sometimes in a home environment like when you're working out with you know in your lounge or whatever it's not really that motivating it's kind of like you'd rather just stick on the tv and watch netflix um especially when nowadays i feel like you can watch netflix at any time of the day it's totally fine which is probably what I'm going to be doing for the rest of the day. I don't really have too much that I need to do. But yeah, I'm glad that I have got that done. And I definitely do feel so much better. I am now going to have a shower. I need to spring clean my room. Because as you can see, it really, really does need a good tidy. So I'm going to do that. I was actually debating trying to dye my not dye my hair but i've got sent this like it's not even a shampoo it's it's like a blonde sort of treatment i guess it's kind of like a toner maybe so i might try and tone my hair but i think i might do that tonight not now i'm a little bit nervous for that but just look at the color so many people are saying that they really like it but i just don't it's weird because i love roots on other people but when i look back at pictures of when i was like really blonde i just I do miss it although I like my hair like a couple of days after it's done so it's not like completely blonde but this is like a whole nother level like seriously my pony is a different color to the top of my head now like that's how bad my roots have grown out good thing is though is that my hair my natural hair has actually grown a lot so my mum refitted my extensions the other day so it definitely does feel so much better and when I took all of them out my hair my hair had definitely grown so that's one thing I I'm happy about my hair is growing definitely did need to sort the extensions out though because i was honestly a bit concerned i was like i'm actually gonna rip out my entire hair because they were like hanging out and it was so gross so i'm so glad that i've done that I'm gonna wait for mum to get out of the shower yeah i'm gonna do that treatment tonight i've got to spring clean my room little things that i need to do today um i want to go get my car washed i don't know about anyone else though but personally I hate to get in my car wash because honestly every experience I've ever oh by the way my face is completely different color to my body definitely need to tan just wanted to point that one out there but every single time I go through a car wash I'm not even kidding you I hate it like the guys that always wash my car are so weird and I feel so uncomfortable and awkward like even if I'm not sitting in the car even if I drop my car off and then I come back I don't know why I just I've never ever ever had a good experience with washing my car I always feel uncomfortable and awkward so I'm gonna ask my mum if she will come with me today to go and get my car washed um, and I need to order a new bank card because I snapped mine there's just like a few little things that I need to do also my locket that I haven't got on right now let me just show you I obviously didn't have this on because I was working out but everyone asked where my locket is from and um, I was very lucky I actually got this for Christmas from my parents and it's Balenciaga if I can find a link to it I will link it down below I don't think they got it off the Balenciaga website I think they got it from Liberties you know so they bought me this locket and I've been saying for so long that I wanted to get a picture of my grandparents inside because currently it's some cats and honestly i'm not a huge cat person not that i don't like cats i'm just i don't really want especially two random cats inside my locket so i'd love to get my grandparents i've been saying it for so long um so at some point today i need to order some little photos that will fit inside you should try and find a site though because i literally don't know how i'm gonna get a photo that's gonna fit that right let's do it let's have a shower get on with the day it's actually quite late in the day i honestly don't even know how it's i'm pretty sure it's like nearly 
12 o'clock. It's 11.30. No idea how it's 7.30. I got up at 7.30 to go work out this morning. Um, but I tend to do this thing nowadays where after my workout, I come indoors and I just sit on my phone for about a couple of hours. Um, it's, it's not good. But yeah, anyway, now I'm going to get on for dinner and shower. <laughs> My goodness so i just had the best snack ever i mean i have this all the time i always have um well quite a lot of the time i have banana yogurt and peanut butter because honestly obsessed it's so strange how much i love peanut butter now so i've been having that with yogurt um, and like banana or fruit or whatever but i've just bought this sauce from um my protein and it is so yummy i mean it doesn't taste as good as normal chocolate sauce but it's really good so i whack this on i wanted to actually film my yogurt and i was gonna run upstairs and get my camera but then i was just enjoying it too much that i was like i literally can't be bothered so sorry for not showing you but i'll pop a little boomerang of what it looked like i mean it doesn't look that amazing but it is actually really good now i'm actually making myself some lunch because I'm just really hungry today. She went full force on her workout. Literally, I don't think I've ever given so much effort into anything in my entire life. I was just like buzzing by the time I got started. I was like, do you know what? This is going to be such a good workout. So now I'm just starving. So I'm making myself some lunch. If you guys saw my recent YouTube video, I showed you guys what I've been eating in a day recently. Obviously, it changes up a lot. But I'm making the same lunch that I made in that video. So I'm making... An omelette with pepper and onion and tomato and what else? I mean, that's pretty much it really because I'm really fussy. But I'm making myself some lunch now. Ah! You know, it's half past one. I probably should get out the dressing gown. I'm going to in a minute. I actually don't even know why. Oh, she just put on a lot of ketchup. And she's putting on more. Um, I actually don't even know why I've actually put on a full face of makeup because I actually do have no reason to. I have so many like worky bits that I need to do, but I'm just putting it off until tomorrow, to be honest, because I thought uh, there's actually no reason. I'm just putting it all off until tomorrow. There's so much steam. Wow. But quite honestly, I do feel a lot better when I put on makeup. It just, I don't know why it just makes me feel more productive. I feel like I can't do certain things when I haven't got on a full face of makeup. I don't know if anyone else can relate i have actually got a lot of things that i definitely do need to do um i'm really excited with some of the brands that i'm working with recently like a lot of you will know i'm really passionate about the brands that i work with if i love something we know i all think it's unreal right so <laughs> so all the brands that i'm working with in the next couple of months or so is just so 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 exciting to me i honestly can't believe it and i feel like i've always turned down so many different brands for reasons that i've just never like really really liked them or loved them enough to want want to be able to talk about them and you know promote something that I genuinely don't believe in so it's so crazy to me that like I'm so glad that I waited and turned down certain brands so I can actually work with the ones that I genuinely do love um and on that note I've got so much to update you with on my in the style collection honestly i not even just me the whole team can't believe how crazy it went i mean they've never ever ever seen anything like it they ordered quadruple the amount of stock they would normally order for a collection and it just sold out literally in minutes like it was mental the site went down app crashed but they've just never seen anything like it and for that i'm so 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 grateful but i'm also just so sorry to everybody that was let down i mean they ordered quadruple the stuff and i was terrified i said to like my mum and my manager i was like you know i don't think you know it's gonna sell like, i absolutely love it but is it gonna sell like they think it's gonna sell i'm not sure but people just went crazy for it and it makes me so 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 happy the amount of you that have been tagging me in your pictures in the collection like it looks absolutely incredible i'm just so sorry to everybody that tried to get some bits and couldn't like it was just mental i still can't believe it I can't believe how many of you tried to get the collection. It's it's just crazy to me and I can't even begin to try and express how much it means because I spent so long, you know, choosing colours and designing it and stuff and it's just so amazing to see so many people love it and support me. So thank you so, 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 so much and I'm going to actually eat my lunch now because first of all, it's getting cold and second of all, I should not be um, eating with my mouth open. Just tidying my room up and just wanted to share my love for Amy Winehouse. I watched her uh, documentary recently again for like the third time and I 
just love her and I've been listening to her Back to Black album I think pretty much most of lockdown. Let me know if there's a particular album that you've been listening to just during lockdown in general because I feel like that's pretty much all that I've been listening to. But I just am obsessed with her. I wish she was still around. I absolutely love, love, loved her. So I literally have this on repeat. So I'm going to basically spring clean my room now. So this is what I've been listening to. But let me know what any suggestions or songs or albums you think I should listen to. Let me know down in the comments. Anyways, it is time to spring clean my room. And I'm excited because I've got fresh white bed sheets. Which, if you have white veggies, you will know it's so satisfying when they're clean and it just it makes my room just feel more open and I don't know, just cleaner. I just, I like it. But they are an absolute pain in the ass, especially if you're a girl that likes to fake tan a lot, like myself. I don't know why I look so excited to turn in my room because I'm really not, but let's do it anyways. tidying my room and then my camera died so I can't even prove it to you guys. I also look a little bit weird because I've shoved on a yellow jumper over the top of this little crop that I was wearing because it's actually freezing. Like I took this picture that I posted on my Instagram today literally a couple of days ago so where the weather's gone I do not know. It is so sad because I just love the sunshine just put you in a way 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 happier mood but anyways what i was gonna say was about my collection basically i'm uploading this vlog in the morning so that it gives you guys some time so if you guys are following my social media you will know that there's actually a pre-order happening with my collection so we have ordered more stock um the stock won't be here until about four to five weeks more looking like four weeks um just because of covid and everything so what we're doing is we've got a pre-order link that i will leave top line of the description for you guys if you want to pre-order anything from my collection to basically a hundred percent guarantee that you will get the pieces as soon as they arrive because obviously when the collection launches again the same thing's probably going to happen it's going to sell out really 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 fast i mean hopefully um and you know it's going to be harder for people to get the pieces the site can only hold so many people and when there's like a hundred thousand people on one site at one time it's just it's kind of mental so for that reason we're doing a pre-order link which basically guarantees that you guys can get your pieces so that's until 6 p.m the day that this video is uploaded i will leave the date and stuff here just so it's clear but i will leave the link down in the description box below anyways i've also ticked off so many of my things off my list today i haven't managed to get my car washed yet but i've done pretty much everything else so i'm very very happy with that i think i'm now going to just chill and watch some netflix because quite honestly i i can't bother doing anything else so i want to watch something but i don't really know what to watch i started watching the um Jeffrey, is it Epstein? Epstein documentary, and it's really, really good. I, it baffles me. It's, it's quite disgusting if you haven't seen it. Not that you see anything particularly disgusting, but um, he was not basically a very nice man. But I do actually like watching things like that. I do think it's really interesting. So I've started watching that. So maybe I'll watch the last. I think it's only like four episodes. I've only literally just finished watching the first episode. My parents have seen the. Um, four episodes and definitely say it's worth watching so i might watch the end of that otherwise i don't really know what netflix series to watch at the moment i wanted to get into money heist and everyone says it's incredible but i just can't because i can't i don't mind subtitles subtitles is fine but when they're actually speaking a different language and uh, with voices over the top it just annoys me too much like i would rather them just speak spanish with or whatever i don't even know what language it is i think it's spanish i would rather than speak a different language and have the subtitles and have the voices over the top it just annoys me that it doesn't go with the mouth at all so i can't watch that which is really annoying but any netflix series please let me know down below i also feel like watching the notebook tonight i don't really know why i haven't seen it in so long but the other day i watched dear john which is one of my favorite movies and after that i was like oh i might even watch the notebook so you know might just cry on my own <laughs> mum's just got back she's gone over to her friend's garden had lunch outside didn't you mum? I did oh my god it was just so nice 
Huh? Okay. Oh. It was literally so nice seeing a friend. Yeah, like, I, I know. haven't seen. I know we have been able to for ages, but I, we've just been really busy, haven't we? I know you. Yeah. Met a couple of friends. What have you been doing, beach. Mum? I've just been <laughs> your little skippy, really. Your helper. Yeah. I don't oh, know. Right. How have I been doing? I feel like we've been really busy, but I just. I've been seen busy. Anyone. I don't know what you've been doing. Yeah. Well, <laughs> no, you've been helping me out a lot, haven't you? Yeah. Pretty well, much. I'm constantly cleaning. I don't know. I just don't seem to have any time. But anyway, it's really nice to see my friend. Give <laughs> me a lovely lunch in the garden. Oh. It's really cute. I saw that in your story. Do you know what? Like, and she walked amazing. in, and I went, "Oh my God, hi!" And then we both were like that, and then we went, "Oh no, no, no!" Actually, and then we we're like, "Oh my God, it's so weird." And then when I yeah. left, I was like, "Bye then." It was just really awkward, and like, "Oh, we're." And I, know, I feel, people, I feel we? like I'm gonna be really awkward even when we are allowed to hug people. Oh, I feel like I'm it's just that. gonna feel a bit weird. No, like to <laughs> friends, yeah, I guess like family and stuff. But like, I feel like I'm gonna, you know, like when I see people in the street and stuff, I feel like I'm always gonna like be like, "Oh, move out." Way, like, say two meters. Yeah, the whole you just naturally go like, like, yeah, that's what I mean. Like that, you're with the dog, and you're like, Whoa, yeah, I gonna feel go? like I'm gonna be like that for a good while after because be now it feels while. like the norm. So, I feel like it's, I don't think mm. you will around people you know because I feel like, like we were just saying, like, people that you know are being sensible and stuff like that. Yeah, you, I'm only gonna see people that I know that I'm be like, you do. Do you know mm -hmm. what I mean? Like, you, you know, you take precautions, you know, you do. You can't not ever see anyone ever again. And do you know what I mean? But if you've got people that I mean, I know people that have been working all the way through that shouldn't have been and stuff like that, and I'm not just not going to see them do you know what i mean i think that's they just expose yeah. themselves haven't they so just, just a bit of common sense anyway long story short it was really nice to see my face yeah, good lunch. Lunch. coming home to do the washing up Great. yeah <laughs> Nice one. Like most of us, because of lockdown, um, I can't get acrylic nails because I can't do them myself. So I've been wearing stick-ons, but how cool are these ones that Gypsy... Sh oh, they're not called Gypsy Shrine anymore. That's really weird to me. And um, they're just called Shrine. And um, the nails that they sent me, they're so cool. I mean, these I definitely want to put on some point this week. I don't want to waste these ones though and just rip them straight off my nails to put these on. So I'm going to wait until they're kind of like, you know, on the last on the last edge of these nails. But for now, they're good. Um, I actually quite like how short they are as well because I can do things a lot easier um, but these nails are so nice and so cool I mean these are so flipping cool I love these honestly I was gonna go for a walk but it's like what 7 p.m does it get dark to like half nine to be fair I just can't be bothered as you can tell so I'm gonna sit and watch some Netflix oh my goodness I just watched the notebook and I could cry best movie if you haven't seen that movie you need to watch it and i mean dear john's like my absolute favorite like my favorite like sad happy sad movie i guess my favorite movie is pretty woman i think everyone knows that but also dear john i think is definitely up there my absolute favorite movie i feel like i might watch another one of my favorites i literally watched pretty woman the other day but i might actually watch the amazing spider-man again as we all know that that's one of my favorites as well and I love the last song. That's also such a good movie. Oh, I'm so tired. I actually am though. Before I watch another movie, I'm going to sit and plan some videos for this week. So I'm going to do that. I was thinking maybe since Nando's is back open, even though I actually had a Nando's on the weekend. <laughs> and I had the um, vegan burger. And oh my goodness, it's so good. I literally have no idea how I'd never tried it before. It was just amazing. But I was thinking I might do like a Nando's does mukbang with my family so let me know if that's something you guys want to see or just videos in general because i really feel like i'm a bit stuck now i feel like i actually love the videos i've been uploading on my main channel but now i've just got to the point where i'm like okay i have no idea what i want to film anymore so yeah that was an idea that i had it's annoying because i actually filmed a say it or shot it of my friend right before lockdown but we got so drunk that i decided it's probably not a good idea to put up because i mean we got we don't like a bottle of vodka like we were drunk and i've never even watched it back but i might actually watch back the footage and see what it's like and maybe upload that at some point i don't know if i even can yeah it's it's quite bad um so i might watch that as well and just see what that's like um but any video suggestions please let me know down in the comments um i'm probably just gonna sit and do that do some worky bits and oh, oh my drinks bloody spill all over my bed anyways um yeah i'm gonna do that and then probably watch another movie so that's me for the rest of the evening i hope you guys enjoyed this vlog i just feel like maybe it was more of a chatty one. Oh, an update um for everyone wondering actually i don't think anyone actually some people wonder um <laughs> 
my car as a lot of you guys know did get stolen all three of our cars got stolen uh months ago now actually when I, it was during strictly so it was a really stressful time we got burgled and i actually ended up getting my car back but every time i step into my car it just i don't know why it just makes me feel really funny the fact that somebody else has stolen it and like i don't it just makes me feel really weird so i actually bought a new car and I'm so excited about it. It doesn't come until like three weeks time. But I've ordered my new car. So I'm really excited for that as an update. Because actually people do always say. What happened to you saying you're getting a new car? So that's the update. And also I don't buy my car outright. I PCP it. So um, to anyone knows anyone that knows what that is that's kind of what i do with my car so every two to three years i have to change my car otherwise i have to buy it and um, so for everyone asking which isn't that many but actually it's cold of this out so yeah that's an update on my life that's all i've pretty much done i think anyways i hope you guys have enjoyed this vlog and i shall see you very soon that's an update from me um let me know any questions you just want to ask in general about me life anything at the moment and in my next vlog i might try and answer some of those questions um, but thank you guys for vlogging thank you for your love and your support and i shall see you guys soon bye <laughs>